Okay, the third question. So we got our revenue goal and our sales goal. The next question we need to be asking ourselves as we go into the end of the fiscal year here is, um, what's our win rate? How, how many times are we winning uh, compared to what we're submitting? So an example is, um, first thing you wanna ask yourself when you're determining what's your win rate is, how many proposals did we send in the last 12 months? Right, just use any period you want, but 12 months is a good window. We submitted uh, 10 proposals in the last 12 months, in the last year. How many won? We won five of those. Well, that means our win rate is 50% or one out of every two. If we submitted 10 proposals to the government and we won five of them, one out of every two is winning or 50%. And so um, if we if we win one out of 10, which is important to know, then we have a 10% win rate. Uh, here, my example is we have a 25% win rate. When there's no data, I always say just go with 25% because it doesn't matter at this point your data will begin to add up and, and give you more accurate information. But one out of every four proposals, everybody should be winning. If you're not there, that's fine, but that's where you need to get to. That's where we want to get is one out of every four opportunities at least is winning. I was looking at Booz Allen's um, uh, financial report to its investors this morning, and I noticed that they were talking about they have a 63% win rate on new opportunities. And I thought that was amazing. But one of the things you need to keep in mind is um, much of what they go after is on contract vehicles that they have already won. So they're not going in blind. I'd love to see that percentage number if they went into random agencies they've never been in before, but still phenomenal. 63% win rate is, is a uh, really good win rate. So, okay. So you need to know uh, what your win rate is because this will tell us how much work we need to do.